Hi guys, so today's video is going to be about how I handle my dandruff which um, ever since I pakai tudung when I was from 3 uh, I started to have kimomo um, because when you start pakai tudung you can start ada kimomo you can start having hair falls uh, rambut you can jadi gatal pasu your, your hair jadi macam frizzy so all these hair problems you can experience when you start wearing hijab because how you take care of your hair when you tak pakai tudung and when you dah pakai tudung is different bila you dah pakai tudung you kena lagi 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 jaga your hair because your hair akan jadi lagi sensitive and when you wear your hijab the whole day you tie your hair rambut you akan jadi macam kepam tau so your uh, scalp tu tak bernafas and actually can develop kelimumu sebab satu because uh, your scalp tu berpeluh dia tak bernafas berminyak and then uh, tak cukup hair oil because kita macam okay bukannya kisah sangat apa pasal rambut sebab dah pakai tudung kan no one's gonna see your hair only the people yang duduk satu rumah dengan you should we spend so much money on hair products because we're wearing hijab dulu I pun rasa macam eh, kenapa nak beli hair products lah hair products mahal gila but then bila I started to have dandruff kelimomo I rasa macam okay I really need to take care of my hair because it's kind of worrying my hair literally just everywhere dekat my room lantai tu memang penuh rambut Sebelum I pakai tudung, I tak pernah pun experience such hair fall banyak macam ni. But when I started to wear hijab, rambut gugur, I memang sangat-sangat teruk and I, I started to rasa macam risau lah. And kalau boleh, every month, uh, spend sikit duit pergi buat hair treatment dekat saloon uh, once a month. Hair treatment dekat saloon memang sangat mahal. But if you have extra money, why not go and do a hair treatment dekat saloon if you rasa you cannot spend that much on hair treatment dekat saloon then make sure you spend a little bit money on hair products and make sure hair products yang you guna tu sesuai dengan rambut you so i'm going to show you guys on how i take care of my hair every day but not on me on my model nak tengok siapa model I hari ni jom kita pergi tengok so today we're gonna demonstrate I'm sorry you got her okay so hari ni model I Lisa perkenalkan diri anda I thought you nak nak check for what I do so there's like three simple steps first biasa macam okay sebab kalau kimomo ni the way you jaga rambut is different tau <laughs> before, you jaga, uh, before you wash rambut first you ambil minyak rambut anti kelimomo ni put it on your scalp and then urut 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 dan then tunggu dalam around 15 minutes or 10 minutes pas baru shampoo rambut this uh, minyak rambut anti kelimomo buat saya buat saya nampak tak? Mm. oh yeah <laughs> ambil ni and then letak dekat your palm macam nampak tak tak nampak oh, <laughs> so you pergi dekat scalp and then letak minyak tu dekat scalp sebab biasa macam kelip momo ni it's either you punya kulit kepala ni terlalu kering ataupun terlalu berminyak sebab tu dia ada kelip momo ok so pergilah dekat setiap tempat scalp tu saya kat depan, depan ni yang paling banyak macam kalau kita pakai tudung kan kat sini akan botak ya ke? ya orang ni dia Bantu untuk keluarkan semua kelimomo yang dekat scalp you So you macam massage <laughs> Massage it dekat your hair <laughs> Dah tak nampak kepala you yeah. Tak tak Lisa mm. Best <laughs> Rambut ni <laughs> yes, Okay So I'm gonna wait for 10 minutes Dan baru basuh Tenet Oh, apa tu? I punya penyalang iPhone je dong Dan benda ni pun dah wangi tau So like, her hair is already Nice Nice, smells nice Alright, let's wash I'm gonna wash your hair Pakai water I mean, basuh je aja biasa Basuh aja dulu Take this shampoo that I always use Because 
This is the best kalau ada Clay Momo. So, most of Clay Momo punya shampoo bau dia busuk tau. And this one, bau dia wangi gila and bau, bau fresh. That's why I like. And then, one thing about Safi Shaila punya shampoo, when you wear it, kalau pakai tudung pun, tudung pun akan jadi wangi juga. Sebab kalau pakai tudung kan nanti bau macam kepam throughout the day. But this one, it keeps your hair fresh. It's around... Sebab rambut dia tebal, macam <laughs> banyak sikit. Banyak sikit. Beli yang kena momo, you kena macam pentingkan your scalp. Rather than pentingkan rambut you. Because your scalp yang bermasalah. But... Okay, so you kena macam urut-urut juga your hair. Tapi jangan kasar sangat sabak. Sabak pula. Sabak? <laughs> Kali kasar sangat, you akan damage. Damage your scalp. So macam... Manja-manja je. Jangan pakai kuku, tak pakai jari. Yeah. So, bila you pakai tudung, your hair akan automatically jadi macam bikin momo and then akan jadi gugur so your scalp tak healthy and then cannot breathe. Tapi pakai tudung satu hari tau, your hair macam terperak dalam tudung tu. Lepas tu bila dah dekat rumah pun, you rasa macam rimas ni kalau lepaskan rambut and then you, you tie your hair juga kat rumah. That's why your hair macam Dia punya akar tu pun tak strong That's why Kalau macam orang free hair ni kan, dia just macam Tak ikat rambut dia Kadang-kadang macam beli sayur pun dia tak ikat rambut dia That's why Rambut dia orang macam healthy je, tak rambut kembang, tak frizzy Okay now, we're gonna blow her hair Keringkan rambut So usually, orang pakai tudung ni macam malas gila nak keringkan rambut and then they just sleep with rambut basah okay. which is not good. I always do that sometimes. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Sebab it can damage kan your hair. Macam mana dia punya ni? Kau memang macam ni? I don't know. Tak lama sangat lah dari ni. Okay. So now, you sikat your hair before you blow your hair. So that bila you blow tu, dia macam tak tersimpul. So you ambil sikat and then tips. Oh. So nak sikat rambut, you sikat ke bawah untuk like you yeah. tak nak bagi dia tersimpul. Kalau you sikat pada atas kan dia macam tersimpul kan? Oh. And then you, bila you force your hair macam, macam tu, nanti dia ugu, rosak <laughs> your scar. So Itu lagi baik berdaya. Macam kena lemah lembut with your hair. Wow. It's like a baby. You buy it in it? I still could do You buy it in it? And that she couldn't get her hair so needy. Now, look at her hair. How about that? How about that? How about Do you like this, Melissa? Dia akan bantu with your scalp and also your hair. Dia akan buat you orang lagi lembut. Kalau macam rambut rambut you macam frizzy and kembang. So, bila bila dah blow tu, apa tak? How silk your hair is. Next. So, the next step is the hijab mist. Ram, uh, mist ni boleh pakai on hair and also dekat hijab. Uh, tudung bau berkepam tak sebab berpeluh, panas. And then kalau I ambil perfume, spray dekat tudung, dia akan tinggal bekas. So sometimes bila ambil gambar, nanti macam ada bekas kat sini. Sebab so, like, just spray perfume. But when you use this mist, dia tak akan tinggal kesan pun. Sekejap. 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 Dia ada lock dia. Oh, wow. Yeah. So as you can see, nothing. Nothing. I just so, got that ejak. I mean, dia tengah basah. Okay. <laughs> bila dia kering nanti, dia tak ada. So, it's safe to use on your hijab also. So, dia ada dua type. Um, this one is menawan and this one is terurus. So, dia ada different bau. Yang ni dia bau macam strong sikit. Yang ni dia more like sweet. So, which one do you want? Sweet. Okay, dekat your hair. Yay. Oh, okay. Sebab so, bau dia memang sangat wangi. Oh, then, so, okay. gula-gula kuatnya. Oh, <laughs> dia macam candy sikit. Yeah. So, you sikat lagi your hair. 
tepi Kalau you nak pakai macam before you pakai tudung on your hair And after you pakai tudung on hijab pun boleh So that throughout the day, kepala you akan buat bau wangi And the shampoo pun wangi gila mm -mm. Yes Sebab shampoo ni memang especially untuk orang yang pakai tudung So bau wangi dia memang sangat kuat even dekat kita pakai tudung pun bau wangi dia tembus So that's all for the hair routine Yay. And how do we end this video? Bye-bye! Ha, so dah tengok dah sampai habis how I take care of my hair every day. So now, all you need to do is just comment at the comment section down below your hair story and I'll pick one winner for this giveaway. So good luck!